Okay, my break is done, and we shall move forward to the second death of the Dark Savant. And you notice there, it said, uh, R, I don't know if you, um, I think it cut off on the last video, but RFS was talking about three life forms being here. Yeah. And so I'll just show you the three life forms. And I'm very upset. Um, wait, let's see. Okay, um, I have forgot, I have to remap this. I can't see, even though I casted a high-level x-ray. Wait, let's pan out. Uh, it won't let me pan out anymore, because I guess this is the max area. So I can't see the other monsters, but you can see there's a green guy right here right to our left and he's obviously on top or below but there on, below is ascension peak and there is no green on ascension peak so it would have to be above or right on the top of this thing and for the life of me, I can't figure out how to engage with this character. And I'm thinking there's got to be a way. If there's a green guy there, I mean, what did the um, game designers put into this game? Is it some kind of a um, Easter egg that nobody has found at this point? Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I mean, that's one of the fun things about gaming is Easter eggs. It would be a shame if they did not really put an Easter egg in uh, the, the latest and greatest wizardry. So none of these spells are going to work to engage this guy. I've tried them before. Um, this might put an enchanted uh, spell on him. There's no way of telling, but really that's not enough of a spell to engage. You can see I can't communicate with uh, the engaging arrow. Perhaps if I get closer, is there a way to communicate at all? Or attack? Nothing to attack. So yeah, we can't go around that way. Um, can't go around this way. Nothing to climb, nothing to... Where the heck are we? Oh. Just creeping along this edge here. So, yeah, I have no idea. You think, okay, can't interact with that. Maybe we can interact with this and get across it or something. And yet, no go there. Oh, does it have anything to do with the diamonds? You can't interact with these blue diamonds. So, it's like, what the heck? What is this? There's nothing you can interact in here. Um, detect secrets. We've already tried over there, I believe. Just maybe make sure we have it on everywhere. Well, Vi, you're going to abandon us and become exceptionally weak. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. I forget, does RFS say anything at all when we come out here? I don't think he does. Oh, 
It does not matter. It was time for them to go. It is time for you to go too. No, I will never go up to your knees. Not until I have my revenge. <laughs> Alas, we can't fast forward this. It's just a movie that uh, we endure. You rush to the nearby alcove where the forge is kept. On a pedestal is the forge itself. And a huge book. I wonder if we can run back into the castle, um, the structure. After we initiate combat, I'm going to give that a try this session and see what happens. Now, this, let's see if we can skip ahead. Yeah. So, we'll skip ahead. Skip ahead. Okay. We already wrote in the book. That was the first battle in the recorded series. Luckily that I got on audio, I believe, and um, now I haven't watched all the videos exactly full length, so I'm hoping there are no errors in that, but, um, so I wanted to join the Savant this time, tearing out the page will be next time, and of course I need to get into non-continuous battle because I'm going to show you guys a little secret here. Hopefully we won't kill Bella so soon. But I think we are going to obviously kill her. Okay. Um, so that round is over. Vi is gone and I feel naked because she was so, so much a part of the team. But I have joined the Savant, so I can only attack Vi, which is kind of a shame. So what I am going to do is I'm going to attack the Savant. This is the thing I haven't seen before, because you're supposed to attack Vi. So <laughs> let's... Uh, attack the savant. I don't even think he's going to summon anything um, to fight against Vi and the other thing. But he will summon, I think, if we engage with him. And I can't... I don't think I can redirect his th thrust right now. Um... So I actually don't want to stay there because I don't want to kill Vi yet. So we'll just get the back of him here. And let's see what happens. Oh, let's kill him. So we actually got to have one person throw the first... Uh, Strike, and then the others, I think, will they start to go to Arvin now? Look, look, Vi, we're helping you kill the Dark Savant, and you're approaching us? Well, I'm glad we're not going to approach you. 
So you can see with the power I have acquired as of recently, the servant is unconscious, uh, paralyzed, and very much drained of hit points in just uh, a couple of rounds. And in fact dies. So Vi just died. If you didn't see that, she just disappeared. You know what? Let's switch their voices next time too. Because uh, they might say something different if they had a different voice, which might be kind of fun to check out. So although we've killed their savant, he evidently is still doing something here. Thus ends the successful, one of the successful Wizardry 8 endings. With a little twist there as you kill the Savant at the end. And then it goes, of course, back to the beautiful list of numerous people that created this game. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching the second one. I'm going to plan the third one, and on the third one is when I'm going to run away. I didn't want to run away during this one. So we'll see you guys another time.